Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a clever piece of media gear that I think you're going to really like. It's an HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality from our friends at JCH ICI. Now, they're a company that designs and manufactures a lot of high-tech audio and video gear to help you convert, extend, or connect all of your HDMI media content. And this product can come in really handy because it allows you to share all of your HDMI media content from a computer, a DVD player, or a game console at one location with a second location up to 250 meters away in full high definition 1080p resolution over a single Cat 5e or Cat 6 LAN cable. The product also provides local loopback functionality at the primary site, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously sharing it with that second location. The KVM functionality allows you to connect up a keyboard and mouse at this location and remotely control the computer that's connected up at the primary location. Also included is a set of infrared extenders that will collect up the remote control signals from that secondary location and send those back digitally over that same LAN cable to the primary location where they're rebroadcast so you can remotely control the content you're watching. Now, as part of this review, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules. I'll explain the connections and indicators. I'll do a short demonstration as well to show you just how simple this product will be to use once you get it home. And then finally, I'll come back and remind you of a few things that I really like about this particular kit that you can use to compare it to other HDMI extenders you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the transmitter module and the receiver module. There are two power supplies included. These are DC 5 volt 1 amp power supplies. You can plug this into any standard wall outlet. This end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit, and they provide all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a set of infrared extenders, and these are different. They look similar, but there's a receiver and a transmitter, and it's important to plug those in to the correct module for proper operation, and those are explained in the manual. You'll also find a connection cable, which is a USB-A to USB-A, and that's used at the primary location to connect this to your computer. So if you connect the keyboard and mouse up over here, those signals can be transmitted to your computer. Finally, there's a full instruction manual included as well, which lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important information you'll need to understand about this product to use it correctly. So always read through that manual. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules and explain the connectors and indicators, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration and remind you of a couple of cool features that this product provides that you may not find in other products on the market. Inside the kit, you'll find the sender module and the receiver module, as well as a set of infrared extenders. And these look very similar, but they have different functions. You'll notice one has a larger head and one has a smaller head. The larger head is the receiver and the smaller head is the transmitter. And it's really important you plug these into the correct module for proper operation. The receiver picks up the remote control signals from that secondary location and the transmitter will rebroadcast those at the primary location so you can remotely control the content you're watching. Both modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable. You'll also find mounting holes on the side of the modules you can use to mount these up off the ground and out of the way. I'll start with the sender module. On the one end, starting on the left, you'll find a 3.5 millimeter port labeled IR out. That's where the extender module plugs in. To the right of that is a full-sized USB-A port. You can use the included cable that's in the kit to connect this up to your PC if you decide to use that KVM function. To the right of that are two full-sized HDMI ports labeled input and output. The input port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location. This product provides local loopback functionality that allows you to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously sharing it with the remote location. And to do that, you'll connect another HDMI cable from the output port to a local monitor to enjoy that content. On the other side, starting on the left, you'll find the LAN port. And that's where one end of the Cat 5e or Cat 6 LAN cable connects. The other end plugs into the other module. To the right of that is a reset button. If you need to reset this module for any reason, hold that button down for a couple of seconds. The unit will go through a power on self-test and come back online. To the right of that are two LED indicators, status and power. Those are fully explained in the manual. But under normal operation, the power indicator should be on and the status indicator should be on as well. To the right of that is a power port. Now, the minute you add power to this unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics, just making sure everything's working okay. It's also checking the resolution of your media content. And when it finishes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. The receiver module is fairly similar. On the left-hand side, you'll find an infrared in port. Again, that's for the other infrared extender module. 
To the right of that are two full-sized USB-A ports. Those are used for connecting a keyboard and mouse at the remote location if you decide to use the KVM functionality. To the right of that is an output port, and that's where you'll connect the monitor at that secondary site to enjoy the content. On the other end of the module, you'll find the other LAN port, and that's for the other end of that CAT5e or CAT6 cable, another reset button, status and power indicators on the remote receiver as well, and finally a DC port here that's used with the second power supply. And that's pretty much it for the two modules. Now I'll show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment at home. And for this demonstration, I have a laptop down here that's currently looping a video that I'm displaying on this monitor. That's the media content I'd like to share with my remote location. Over here, I've set up a second monitor. This is my second location. This is where I'd like to enjoy the content from the primary location. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by disconnecting the media content from my monitor and connecting that to the HDMI input port on the back of the unit. And now I'm ready to connect up the power. I've got the power supply already plugged in. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it. That plugs right into the power port. And then if I want to enjoy the content here, I can use the local loopback functionality. That requires a second HDMI cable. And I've got one right here. So I'll plug that into the monitor and I'll plug the other end of it into the HDMI output port on the transmitter. Now once I make this connection, we'll be able to still enjoy the content here at the primary location while I'm transmitting it to the secondary location. And there's your content. Now I can connect up the remote receiver I've got an HDMI cable connected to the monitor, and that'll plug into the HDMI output port, and then I can connect power. Again, I've plugged in the power supply, barrel connector here, and I'll plug that in. Now what's happening is the minute I add power to both of these modules, they immediately start an internal power on self-test where they're checking the electronics just to make sure everything's working okay. They're also checking the resolution of the media content and the resolution of the monitor. So when I make that final connection between the two modules, they can make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture at that remote location. The only connection we're missing at this point is the LAN cable between them. That should be a CAT5e or CAT6. I have a short CAT6 cable right here. I'll plug that into the one LAN port on the transmitter and the other LAN port on the receiver, which is on the front right there. Now, the minute I make that connection, the two modules are talking to each other. They're negotiating the best possible picture quality for that remote location. And there you go. I've got the same exact media content on both of those monitors. Remember, this can be up to 250 meters apart. So you've got a big distance between your primary and secondary site. Now, one other cool feature about this product is the KVM functionality, because if I have a computer connected over here, which I do, I can connect the keyboard and mouse at the remote location and control that computer. And to do that, I'll use the included cable Cable, which I've already plugged into my computer. It's a USB cable right here, and that plugs into the USB port on the sender. And at the receiver end over here at my remote location, I can connect the keyboard and mouse up to those two USB-A connections. I like using wireless products, so I've got a wireless dongle right here. I'll plug that in. Now watch what happens when I touch this mouse. You'll notice immediately I have control over that computer at the primary site. If I had a keyboard over here, I could use my email, I could surf the net, I can do everything I would normally do at the computer from that remote location. And that's what this product gives you is the HDMI extension functionality to share content between the two sites and also the remote control capability to remotely control a computer at that primary site. So it's a pretty simple product to connect. And again, it's just that easy to get it working. I hope that closer look and demonstration were helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing this particular product to other HDMI extension kits you may be considering. The first thing is the distance between the primary and secondary locations. This product fully supports 250 meters between those two locations. A lot of other HDMI extension kits may only support 50 meters or 100 meters, so knowing you have 250 meters of distance provides a lot of flexibility of where you can locate that secondary site. Another important feature is the local loopback functionality. That allows you to continue to enjoy the content here at the primary site while you're broadcasting it to the remote site. Other kits may not provide that function, which means you have to decide, am I going to watch the content here or am I going to disconnect it and just share it with my secondary location? 
The infrared extenders are another benefit because they'll basically collect up the remote control signals from that secondary location and pass those back to the primary location so you have complete control over the content you're watching. Other kits may not provide that functionality, which essentially means you're going to start the content here and then run to your remote location and just start watching it. You'll have no control over fast forward, pause, or rewind at that secondary location. The KVM functionality is another benefit. A lot of these kits will extend the HDMI media content, but don't provide any KVM functionality. With this one, if you connect the computer up over here, you can connect the mouse and keyboard up over here, see the computer on the display, and remotely control it from that secondary location. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and it's a really easy product to use. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I've enjoyed doing it, and I love talking about this type of technology. So until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy. Thank mm -hmm. you.